talk. Let's get into it. Shall we? Yes, indeed. Ah. So which what what do you want to hit first? Well, this is a topic that's been on my mind. Something that should help a lot of men out or figure out how do we deal with fights within our relationships. Oh, we're going to get that one, huh? Yeah. We're just going to come out swinging. Yeah, like... We're going to come out swinging, man. All right. Um, how we want to deal with it or how we should deal with it? Because <laughs> you know it. Or, you feel me? First off, it depends on the fight. Like, what is the fight about? That I think that's it's never about what it's about. Yeah, we know. Yeah, you're right about that because there's layers to a, a woman's fight because normally a man is not really mad over anything. No, we rather chill. If we do get mad, we get we we over it before we start bickering about it. Like we, if we bicker about it, if we don't bicker about it right away, yeah. we probably never gonna say nothing yeah, about we're it. Probably never gonna say nothing. But then if she come at us about some. BS, then that that old thought, that old thing we was mad about, yeah, we gonna. It comes back. You back. know what? I was trying to give you a pass, but check it out. What about what exactly. about the, the other day when you had said, you know what I'm saying? You old. F mm. <laughs> the bottom line is, as a man, the best way to deal with a, with fights is like swallow your pride and let her think she won. Hey. And really don't care. You gotta really not care. Like I don't give a damn. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm not interested in winning. Cause one thing I know about women, they interested in winning. They want to win. They want. That's. I think that's the main problem about relationship fights. Because you're the fight is never about the fight. And and at the same time, a woman does want to win no matter. Cause they lose all logic. It's an emotional based fight at this point. And for a lot of men, we don't. React off emotions. We don't argue off of emotions. No, no. So we, it's hard for. And if you bring logic into a, a room that emotion is living in, logic it's is gonna lose. get explosive. Yeah, but logic loses every time. Yeah, yeah, because she's gonna make it more emotional. The more logic you bring into it, the more emotional it's gonna be made. Yeah. Or you know, <laughs> this brings up this, and then you know, you know what kill kills me. If you don't show emotion, now you don't care. You don't and, care, and you don't not you don't care, but you unavailable. Yeah, like, and and then understand this: the reason why they fight with emotion is the same reason Floyd Mayweather fight defensively. <laughs> you, they make you fight. They fight. Yeah, they can't beat you with logic. They beat you with emotion. They know logic is your strength. So why would they go fight you with logic? They once again they want to win. They do want to win, and we want it to be over. See, that's the thing. The woman want to win, and you just want it to be over. So that's why I say just let her give her the illusion of a win. I give I give the illusion of a win a lot. But like, then there's this problem. We creating a monster at the end of the day because because we will let them go on a win streak. Yeah, you gotta choose them. You gotta pick them. And then it turns to. But when you pick them, you gotta under, you gotta put your you gotta put your armor on and be like and understand that you you I, going on the battlefield because once you pick it, you gotta bring a mixture of logic and emotion because you gonna bring the men. Men just just naturally go to one plus one. Like why are we why is this a problem? So but then you gotta you gotta conjure up some emotion when if you gonna go if you gonna pick your battle. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta get, you gotta go into that emotional place with them and go. But for the most part, you could just, you can live a peaceful life if you swallow your pride, shrink your ego, and just let her win. Because women have the biggest egos on the planet. Big, and that's big under egos. that that that's it. That goes so un unspoken on like it it goes so. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ever says that, and I guarantee you that's going to be unpopular to say. But women have the biggest egos because they are they got the how dare you. Man, I think that's kind of the biggest truth ever. Like I don't care what anybody say. 
if you're dealing with if you're in a relationship with a woman or period, if you're in a relationship somebody ego is going to be bigger than the others mm -hmm. it's going to be the woman yeah yeah and then when it's the man's he's usually got he usually in order for a man's ego to be bigger than a woman's he has to go into that place that Tyler Perry writes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got to be that character Tyler Perry write. Like, yeah. that real douchebag. You know what I mean? The like, you got to be like, willing to go yeah. be a huge douche to That's to be, to have a bigger, the bigger ego as a male. And, and, and honestly, those men get, get, um, they get, they, they catch the blues because they, I mean, at the end of the day, they, they should because they, they abusive. They verbally abusive. They either verbally abusive, uh, physically abusive, mostly abu abusive. One of the, one of those things. But women can be all of those things and not be looked at as the douchebag like they are. So, yeah, they ego is gonna be bigger, all the always, unless you are just a really really bad person. You know what I'm saying? You know the flip side of being a really bad person. That bad person gets way more respect. Respect. Yeah. They don't, and they'll never admit it because a woman, once again, her ego will not allow her to admit that she shows another man, a man respect that that she fears. That's what I'm saying. So she, the fights that he's gonna get the respect because she fears him, and she's gonna be like, I ain't scared of him. Ain't nobody even scared of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you was. That's why you respect him. That's why you. That's why you. That's why you. That's why. That's why, that's why that dude, that type of dude, wins in life because okay. he conjures up fear and respect from you. Because he you makes know, you think twice before you bring a fight to this relationship. Yep, because you he, you know he gonna go he gonna cut you deep emotionally. He yes. gonna, or he gonna hit you, or he'll put his hands on you, and you and you re, you don't like that, but you respect the hell out of it because you don't like you don't like being put in that you don't women don't like being put in that place of of a uh, victim. They don't like being somebody's victim. They don't like somebody having that power of them. So it, they, look, but that dude gets that respect, and dude, regular dudes, you yeah. gotta walk away, man. From from you gotta you gotta give her the wins, like make her feel like she winning. But you gotta understand that logically, you know you winning. Yeah, you know you as long as you know you right. So like let her let her go, because guess what? All you gotta do is let her feel like she won, and be like, you know, you right, my bad. Yeah, this gets on the back, and end. then you could go on with life. Yeah, because like you can go on day, doing exactly what it was that you was doing before this fight started, and go, and then and as long as you keep your emotions out of it, you still in the same spot. And then she's in a good spot, and then y'all good, and because she you made you made her feel like she won. Because women like to fight. Women women want to fight. Mm -hmm. They want to fight. They say they don't. They want to fight. They want to fight. They either want their way or they want to fight. So what you're saying is. Pick our fights wisely, <laughs> and just get ours on the back end. Get ours on the back end, man. Like, yeah, you gonna win in the end because at the end of the day, over over time, over about 150 disagreements, your overall grade is gonna be like he's a good guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And over time. If something were to go wrong, you look at him and be like, "Well, you was always doing all the yelling. I just be like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm. So if you keep your conscience clean. These and are your words. These are your words. Yeah. This is you. But the best way to do it, man, you gotta let them win. Like you gotta let them win. But but what about when you pick your battles? Hey, go back. So like you said, you gotta stand on your ground. Stand on your. Stand on what what it is you fighting over that you believe in. Bring a little emotion along with logic and just stand on it. And and don't back down because you can't because they want you. To, about it, cause they want you to back. They want the last word. That's that's a problem too. But but even then, so so when you do pick your when you do pick that fight, believe in it. Believe it. Make yeah. sure it's something you believe in. Don't just yeah. be out there with your with your. Don't let your ego throw you into something and be like, "Hey, man, hey, don't let her get away with that." Yeah. Nah, man, make nah. it be something. Make sure it's something that you really, really exactly like. Nah, it's, I can't let this slide. It's, and it's, make sure it's something that you can't move on with. Like, if you gonna argue with your woman, make sure it's something that you it's like. You I can't by. move. Yeah, I can't move forward like without this, addressing this. This is like. Like I believe in this is man, this it's like nah I can't we can't move 
forward in life until we address, to address this. this. We got to address. That's when that's yeah. be a man about it because this that's what men that's what as a man you got to women want to address everything. You just need to address the important and thing. That's, that's and if she want to address something that's that's not really important to you, address it with her. And then let her win, even if you disagree with it, because that's like let her give her the illusion of a win. Yeah, I mean that's kind of like our problem, man. A lot of men, I ain't gonna say it's. I don't even know the percentages, but I feel some men let women win too much, mm -hmm. and some men don't let women win enough. And when too many men let women win all the time, the balance gets thrown off. It gets thrown off because basically, let's just say. Uh, you meet a new woman and she's used to dominating all fights before you. So she comes It's the last dude fault. Yeah. So you get this woman and the minute y'all get into a situation, you start to notice a pattern like... She trying to dominate me. She trying to dominate me? <laughs> is, this, is this what she do? Is this what she thinks she do? <laughs> so now you got an uphill climb to do. You either going to get that or you either going to get a woman that's used to dominating or you going to get... A woman that's been dominated. Either way, she coming to dominate your ass. Yeah, because that's oh, that's another. Yeah, that's right. Because a woman that has been dominated, is, she needs. A, she she wanna said, feel, she feel like he won all them. He felt she feel yeah. like that dude won so much. She gonna get her wins, and it's gonna be on your ass. Because she said never again. Never again. Know never what I did again. wrong? Yeah, exactly. She said I know what I did wrong. Said, I know never I again. Never again. You could be the. You could be nothing like this dude. Yeah. You, she's fighting that dude. She ain't fighting you. Exactly. No. Oh, no, no, that might be the worst situation because she don't see you. She sees the last relationship. So st once you see it's irrational, again, back out of it. Find your way out. Yeah. Be like, you know what? It's cool. We don't even need to. You're you right. You know, my bad. And move on. Move Give on. the weakest, most insincere my bad and move on. Yeah. They don't care how insincere it is. They won. She won. They won. They like. They, they like. Hey, I won. All right, I'll take it. They don't even know you didn't sound sincere. They just know you tapped out and they won. Yeah, because more than likely, you're not even fighting your fight. You're fighting the last relationship. You're fighting fight. somebody. She ain't mad at you. She mad at her daddy. She mad at her daddy. <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh, man. So, uh, she ain't mad at you, man. She mad at somebody from years ago, man. By the time she get mad at you, for real, it's going to be going, it's going to be getting taken out on somebody else. So the advice here is pick your battles. Pick your battles and get don't forget to give up them victories. Give up yeah. them get, just battle what you stand on. Mark your morality is like whatever you stand on, whatever you stand for in life, those are the battles you should pick. Think of it like think of it like like, you know, when you playing basketball against her. Let her get a bucket. Yeah, man. You can't you know you could get you can go you could go take her to the hole every time. You let her get a couple buckets. Yeah. Let her feel like give her give her a win, and then so, when it comes when it get important, then you would get yours. That's right. how, the best way to handle that, man. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, that's the game needs to be played because of the way society been programmed. So, yep. if you don't like that advice, try it your way. Bet it don't work. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, see you next time. <laughs>